Hi guys, welcome back to Edward channel. So today we will be dealing with the history and scope of veterinary medicine. So we are all familiar with the term veterinary and veterinary medicine. So please subscribe this channel and hit the bell button for more updates. So origin of the term veterinary. So where did the origin happen or from where the word veterinary came? So the etymology or the origin of the word veterinary is very less clear. It is probably originated from the term veheri, which means to draw or any animal that works with the yolk. Other etymologists consider its origin from we, which means cattle, and terin, which means to be sick. So, moving to the father of veterinary medicine, the concept of animal disease and its management has evolved a thousand years before AD. And the contributions came in from different persons. So hence, a controversy exists over who is the father of veterinary medicine. Though the names of Hippocrates and Galen were discussed, Vagacius is generally considered as the father of veterinary medicine. So he was the author of four books on diseases of horse, cattle, which he regarded as the divine discipline as the cause of disease. So Shun Yang is regarded as the father of Chinese veterinary medicine. So moving to the important personalities, or events that led to the formation of the veterinary field. So the first written record on any veterinary medicine that is Cahun Papyrus from ancient Egypt. The oldest well-documented evidence on veterinary practice was the code of Hammurabi, that is King Hammurabi. The code mentions the type of surgery and the fees to be paid to the veterinary. In India, during the Vedic period, people were concerned about the management, diagnosis, the treatment protocols, and treatment of various diseases of animals. In ancient India, animals were treated on the principles of Ayurveda. Hippocrates described hydrothorax in oxen, sheep, and swine and mentioned the dislocation of the hip joint in cattle. And Hippocrates is regarded as father of human medicine. Aristotle discovered some of the diseases of swine, dogs, cattle, horses, asses, and elephants, and including rabies in dogs. So, General Xenophon wrote the treatise on horses and horsemanship in which emphasized disease and care of the feet of the horse. Shalihotra was a pioneer of veterinary science in India. Shalihotra's principal work was the largest treatise on the care and management of horses. The term Shalihotra was used to refer horse doctors. Vaisampayana, Nakula and Palakapya were famous animal doctors who wrote Sanskrit treatise on animals. Mauryan Emperor, that is the Ashoka the Great, established the animal treatment centers in his kingdom. So, Galen and Hippiatriga. Rophus in the 12th and 13th century wrote De Medicina Icorum. Ruini Bologna, an Italian, who wrote the first veterinary anatomy in 1598. So, establishment of veterinary schools and colleges. The 18th century witnessed many plague that is disease, ex example like linder pest, anthrax, black leg, sheepox, etc. So this paved the way for establishment of first veterinary school at Lyons in France and followed by second school at Alfort in 1765. So 1971 veterinary college at London, 1853 the first veterinary school in North America, 1857 the first veterinary college in USA. So first Abbey veterinary college started at Pune in the year 1862. First Veterinary College, Babugar in 1877. Second Veterinary College in India, uh, Lahore, that is 1882. Third Veterinary College at Bombay in 1886. Fourth Veterinary College at Calcutta in 1893. Fifth Veterinary College at Madras in 1903. First Veterinary College in Kerala at Manuthi, Trishur in 1955. And second at Pokod in Vairad in 2004. First Veterinary University, that is Tamil Nadu Animal Science University. That is Tanu was in 1989. So moving to the scope of veterinary medicine. Why veterinary medicine is practiced or why new waves of veterinary medicine is coming. So the scope of veterinary medicine is very very vast. It serves the society in different ways. That is according to the changing society veterinary medicine also changes. So the scope of veterinary medicine spread over different areas and sectors such as food, farm animal medicine that is we are using many animals as food items. So we will be considering as health hygiene portions. That is we will be producing food animal that is having healthy hygienic procedures. 
and no drug residue. Next is pet or the companion animal medicine. We are having many pets. So we, need, we will be treating them and we will be giving them such medicines such that they won't have any future side effects. So the companion animal medicine is very prominent in India now. Next is laboratory animal medicine. We will be having many research oriented laboratory animals. So we will be treating them for proper results. So wild animal medicine and zoo animal medicine, aquatic medicine, veterinary forensics and veterinary jurisprudence in case of any veterinary legal cases, disaster management, exotic animal medicines, the species that is equine medicine, swine medicine, avian medicine, etc. We will be specializing on equine medicine more because in the army and all, equine medicine is very much important. Specialization of veterinary medicine that is dermatology and cardiology since we have already been into the pet animal companionship. This has got a variety of sectors. So teaching research and extension in veterinary medicine. Control of zoonotic diseases. This is a very important sector of veterinary medicine and this is having much more potential in the coming ages. Military use of animals that is RBC. Rural development and poverty alleviation through farming and animal cultures. Animal welfare. Thank you.